here in Niagara-on-the-Lake, Canada, and last night I went to see a play called Oh, What a Lovely War. And this play was about the futility of war, about how many lives it destroys in the name of politics, in the name of something that I want to talk about today, which is judgment. So when we judge ourselves as not being smart enough, when we judge ourselves as not being beautiful, when we judge ourselves as not being athletically gifted, it creates conflict inside of ourselves. We get angry at ourselves. And you could argue that you actually make whatever the underlying issue is worse. The athlete whose muscles are tight can't perform as well. The person who gets angry at themselves because of the reflection they see in the mirror and then goes and emotionally eats. All of these things make things worse for ourselves. In our relationships, when we judge our husband or our wife as being wrong or as not being good enough in some way, it can create all sorts of conflicts and arguments that can obviously lead to divorce. When a nation decides that another nation is wrong, it can lead to things like the First World War. And right behind me is a parade ground where all of these young men from Canada were trained before they were sent off to fight the Germans. The Germans that they had been told were wrong. The Germans that they had been told were bad. In a war that they were told was being fought to preserve democracy. In a war that they were fighting and that they were told was the war to end all wars. So one of the things that I like to think of is whose judgment is it? When you look at yourself in the mirror and you don't like what you see, if you think that you're heavy, is that really your judgment? Or is that the judgment of your mother? Is it the judgment of a magazine you looked at? Is it the judgment of someone that you heard talking on TV? For the 19-year-old boy from Niagara-on-the-Lake who was drafted into the Canadian military to go off to France to live and to fight and to die in a muddy trench, was that his idea? Was that his judgment that the Germans were bad? Or was it someone else's? So every day, I work on this. And I'm, I'm not here to say it's easy, because it's not, it's hard. But I work on letting go of judgment. Work on letting go of something either being good or bad. And even if it takes 10 minutes, I find that it gives me relief. It gives me peace and it helps me to center myself and understand what am I really judging? Is it good? Is it bad? Or is it just being? Like this day. This day is raining. This day is overcast. How many times have you woken up and seen a day like this and said, it's a bad day? I don't know. Is it bad? So. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe. And also, if you hit that little bell notification, you'll get a notification of all the videos that I am uploading to YouTube.